my channel so this week I filmed this hair tutorial for you guys I used hardly any heat for this tutorial and I use this hairstyle whenever I go out to big events and I don't want it to look too done I just want it to look like you know lots of volume to look really nice and messy it's kind of like undone but still done you know so if you want to see how I created this look please keep watching so this is what my hair is like naturally as you can tell it's kind of like straight kind of frizzy you can see it's all coming out this way curling in this way so you want to start off with your hair damp you want it to be about 80 percent dry because if it's too wet it will take such a long time to set so i'm going to start off with this product here this is from philip b it's called the maui wowie volumizing thickening beach mist it's basically kind of like a salt spray and i like this because it gives my hair a lot of body and it thickens my hair this hairstyle that i'm going to do for you is not like a really sleek kind of hairstyle i prefer it when hair is a little bit more messy a bit more undone so as you guys can see See, I've got loads of layers because I like my hair to be really nice and volumized so this is the best way to get it without using a lot of heat I do use heat a little bit of heat just like the hair dryer so I'll show you the product that I thank every day every time I do this hairstyle and whenever I go to events I always use this product so I put it all in the box for you because I wanted to film this video for you guys because so many people are asking me for this tutorial so it's from the brand called Pro Blow it looks like this so this is the limited edition black one I've got the original as well so this is what um the original looks like it's pink so you can choose i think it's the same price this is amazing for anyone who does hair and makeup to keep inside your kit so this is what it looks like when you first unbox it and it does come with like a bag so after if you don't want to keep the box you can just store everything in the bag which is really handy so this is what comes inside the set it's really nice because you get some big ones and what i like the most is that the small one is not that small i like to use a small one underneath here because i feel like this bit is like the longest bit of my hair so i like the most curl here and then up top i use the bigger ones so basically when you so basically when you receive it you get one of these handles and how it works is such a simple idea basically the handle is like this and you just plop it in like that and then you blow dry hair or whatever and then once it's in your hair you leave it in like rollers you guys know if you've been following me for a long time i love rollers it also comes with some clips so obviously once it's in your hair you can clip it in normally i would do this before i do my makeup and leave it into set and then once i finish my makeup then i take it all out so that's kind of like my if i'm going out and stuff that's like my routine so i just use my thumb and i just section the back of my hair and my hair at the back here is quite thick so i don't use that thick of a layer this is probably like as thick as I would go because otherwise if you do it too thick the curl doesn't last as long so I literally just clip all of this out of the way I bring my hair forward like this this bit is a bit dry now so I just put a bit of water on it and you, you literally just want to lightly mist it just so that it has like a little bit of dampness not that it's soaking wet like it's dripping so for the bottom half of my hair I literally split it in the middle and I like to use the smaller barrel underneath here because I feel like it'll help my curl last longer because these tend be the bit that drops the fastest so what i do is i literally go in like this and i brush it to make sure there's no tangles if you have really curly hair and you want your hair to be straight you can actually use it as like a normal like blow drying brush and just blow dry it so it's like straight like this but because my hair is naturally quite straight already i found a quicker way to even do this so basically i brush it all the way down until like nearly the end and then i use my other hand and i wrap it round basically and then i pull the brush so there's a lot of tension and you want to make sure there's no knots okay if you get knots it's going to be really hard to take it out later you want to get as much hair in the brush as possible and i literally just wind it up like this and i take it off and then i clip this in i'm going to put a hair dryer right at the end so i use as less heat as possible same again on this side i brush it all the way down and then i flip the end inside the brush so it stays nice and firm and so you don't get any fish hook ends you don't want your ends to look all like scraggly ends you want it to go all in one direction and then i just go upwards like this and honestly it's so quick this hair like i can do it within like 20 minutes i literally just take random sections like and i just roll it in so you keep going until you get to the top then i'll show you how i do the top half because i think the top half is really important so let's just roll it in like this Dip. take it off then you just put a hair clip on it so you, you do get two packets i think you get 12 in here i really like the black one i just think it looks so sleek i'm using the smaller barrel i literally just alternate at the top i mainly use bigger ones and um, but it depends on how curly you want your hair if you want your hair really curly obviously use the smaller ones if you want it not that curly just use the bigger barrels and it does come with quite a lot of barrels in here already as a set but you can buy extra barrels so if you like loads of the big ones you can buy more of them so as you can see while i'm going up i'm 
smoothing the hair around to make sure uh, there's as least flyaways as possible okay guys so i've done literally all around my head now and this bit is the last section we have to go for and this bit is the most important one because this is where all my short layers are so this is where i want the most volume to be so i take like a section about like an inch thick and then what i like to do especially in this crown bit this is where i like the most volume so i'm going to use like a teasing comb this is also from pro blow but this is a really good teasing comb guys but what i do is i like to back comb basically put in the middle of my hair like this and i kind of push downward and this helps me build height onto my hair and i'm going back and forth and creating like a little nest there so this is giving me root lift before i even put in the roller and then on the top half i'm using the biggest roller because i want the most volume curling it all the way down and getting a clip Voila! so this is the last section if you don't want it to be like as big i would suggest you doing it front ways like this curling it inward i'm gonna do it the same like these and push it all behind so it has a lot of lift so i've actually finished all of the ones that come in the set so i'm gonna grab ones from my previous one i'm gonna get um one of the pink ones it's exactly the same but just a different color so i'm gonna back comb this so it has like a nice lift at the root because i want it to be really nice and volumized so i'll show you when it comes out how big it's going to be okay so exactly the same like the rest so spray the end okay so the front i'm gonna push the brush behind like this so i can get as much lift as i can so put it forward guys so when you roll it back it goes nice and high you see that take it out when a clip okay so this is what you should look like you should look like a crazy roller lady so what you want to do next is just use your hair dryer any hair dryer um this is just a tony and guy one and then you want to splash your hair full heat fastest setting you have i literally just crank it up all the way and i just literally go like this and then the rollers will just lightly warm up and it will hold the curl really well and then the trick is guys to make your hair last for like two to three days you want to leave it until it sets completely so you want to make it like as hot as you can handle it and then you leave it to go back to being cool before you take them out if you take them out while they're still a bit warm then it's not going to last your hair ain't going to last it's going to fall throughout the day so you want to make sure it's completely set so that all the curls are set in position before you take it out okay let's go Okay, dokie guys, so I've been on Snapchat for the last 20 minutes, so it should be all settled down now. So I'm going to take out the first one. So just took off the clip, and then you just literally roll it. It's giving me such a nice curl. And because this is the smallest one, it's giving me like an actual curl. If you don't want an actual curl, you can use the bigger ones at the bottom, and it'll just give your hair like a slight flip. And then what I do is I spray the hair so that it stays all night especially like the bottom ones because the bottom ones tend to drop out the quickest yeah guys super quick and super easy just take this one out let's just unroll it like this stand up for you guys you guys see that it's just so nice and like a good way not to use a lot of heat on your hair before i used to use that like, sleeping rollers have you guys tried sleeping rollers before they look like this they're like um, a roller with like a sponge i used to sleep in them but they're so painful like these are not painful whatsoever and literally i kept sort of like it probably took me like half an hour to do my hair rather than getting eight hours i was like sleeping and then my neck hurts the next day just so much more worth it and you get the same result the main thing about this is that i don't want my hair to be really curly the main thing i want is just to give it like a little bit of body and a bit of shape rather than just being like dead straight or like really curly i don't want it like curly sue you know hardly use any product in this water and a bit of a salt spray that's optional so you can do this on like clean hair like freshly washed hair or you can do it on like hair that's like a couple days old but can you guys see that it's literally so much body and that's without any back combing so if you want even more definitely back comb the root so the hairspray i'm using by the way is called batiste it's called the hold me hairspray and i love it because i love the smell of it it makes my hair smell really nice and it holds it without making it crispy so you guys are gonna be shocked when you guys see this top bit here you guys see it just rolls out like so well whoa oh, 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 oh. it's like so big and so voluminous so let's just push it back and i'll put loads of spray in it <laughs> god damn so much volume oh my god <laughs> what i like to do with my hair is i just let it fall naturally rather than shaping it too much so normally my hair falls in this direction and you just kind of mold the shape that you want you don't have to back comb your hair much anymore if you want something to really really last all night long then i'll suggest back combing it i'm just going to section it to a side parting i think and then on this side i've recently been loving when my hair kind of goes up like this it kind of looks really like glamorous so because of the way i rolled my hair naturally it has this kind of like height here so i just like to play with it 
And what I do is I kind of push this bit up and then swing this to the side around here. So I literally just like mold it the style that I like and then I just spray it with a lot of hairspray. Oh my god, so this is how big my freaking hair is right now. I freaking love it! I love it when I have volume in my hair. Okay guys, so because of my hair was so glam, I felt I needed to ramp up my makeup a bit more to go with the hair. <laughs> So please let me know what you thought about this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you loved it. Please let me know if you want to see any other hair tutorials. I'm not a connoisseur at hair, but I do love like all things fashion and beauty and stuff. So please comment and let me know what else you want to see from me. Thank you so much to Pro Blow for collaborating on this video with me. I know so many of you guys have been asking me how I feel my big bouncy hair. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Please make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification button so you can see every single upload that I am doing at the moment. I'm trying to upload twice a week so i'll speak to you guys in the next video bye guys <laughs>